Todd is back. Now we're on a first name basis, but it's Todd Harn, for those of you who haven't seen him on the show. He is our cow guru. You, you gave me a bad disease. Now mm -hmm. once, once I processed my own beef, right. it, I was messed up. I've never had any meat like that. Now we didn't, we took it like to almost 700 pounds mm -hmm. because it's just Nikki and I. Right. And you gave me that choice. You said, why don't you try that? And I did. I was like, whoa. So first of all, tell what part of the country you're from. Down from Casey County. Casey County. Yep. You got yep. some good friends down there? Got some good friends. Um, one of the fellow ran into a fellow today. I told him that I was coming up this way to do a little calf work maybe with you this evening. And and he said, uh, he said we watch all his shows. Um, and what's Gerald, his name? Gerald Emerson. Gerald Emerson from? Down in, in Liberty. We want to say hi, Gerald. Yep. His whole, yeah, his whole crew. And let me tell you about another one, another right. fellow from uh, Berea. Okay. A good friend of my brother, Scott, who helped do a little fencing around here. Um, George Goodrich. George Goodrich. Uh, yeah. Need to. What up? Yeah. <laughs> he'll uh, he'll get a kick out of that. Now you haven't been here in a while. Right. You're busy. I'm busy. We've been running like crazy. Nikki's been spoiling her, mm -hmm. giving her apples, and She's they've kind of gone through this field, and we're still supplying them with some good hay, mm -hmm. and we we're starting to. Once the young ones started eating the sweet feed, mm -hmm. we started giving it to them. Now tell me what you think from looks sure. of things are happening and what I need to do from here. Okay, so the last time I was here, we grafted the little Jersey calf right. on with Maybell, as you call her, right. uh, her natural born calf. So now you've got two calves nursing this one cow. Right. Um, I was um, apprehensive to see Maybell's body condition. Uh, I know you're not acreage wise. You've got, you know, maybe two acres here or so, something like right. that. Wanted to was hoping that she would be carrying her weight well, and she is, she looks very good. So kudos on that. Then flip side, looking at the calves, calves look great, very rounded, just uh, super excited. And they're at that point now that I think with the sweet feed that you're gonna see them take off. You're gonna go on a little trip or something. One of these days, you're gonna come home and look like they gained a hundred pounds. All right, now what's the difference between the meat Okay. Now, this is the interesting thing. A lot of people that I talk to really think the Jersey meat is absolutely wonderful, but they don't have that big frame. Sure, that's right. The Jersey breed is designed to um, make milk, right. not, not meat. Dairy farmers do not want to walk out and see their dairy cows just loaded with muscle. That's, right. not, their, that's not their design purpose. Their design purpose is to make milk. So everything they, they consume is going towards milk. He can't help it that he came out a boy. And so it's still in his genetics to be thinking that way. But with the procedures we're gonna to do today, we are going to get him to start putting on a little more fat, which you know from the cooking side of things is what makes oh, steak yeah. taste great. What do you call that procedure? Castration. Castration. Now what does that actually do and what, what happens? And, and what point does that need to be done? So the people that's watching the show that may not understand the farming side of things, a lot of people spay and neuter their dogs. Right. What's one Same of the, thing. What's one of the things that happens to a spayed or neutered dog? They typically get lazy and they get fat. But it also, Tim, on the marbling side of things, which is how the fat gets laid down in the muscle, it pushes more of that uh, direction on the meat side of things. So I think I told you I killed an 1190 pound Jersey and just the, the meat almost looked white. Of course, when you grill it on the grill, the fat kind of cooks off, but it, there's still enough of it caught in there that the flavor's just, oh, wow. it's out of this world. So I would be excited if you would, if you would. Do a comparison? Yes, do We a comparison. absolutely will do that. Now we're gonna take, and we're gonna sell half of this calf. Okay. And we're gonna keep half of that calf. All right. We're gonna sell half of that calf and we're gonna keep, so we're gonna be able to do that comparison. Right. Now what steps are you gonna take today? So we've got a couple shots we need to give them. Um, one is for black leg. Which is? Um, it's a disease they can get and they can, I think, pick it up from the ground and it's just, uh, it's just a vaccination. And then uh, the second shot will be a respiratory. IBR is what a lot of farmers call it, but it covers uh, sometimes as many as seven or nine different viruses in that one inoculation. Your little jersey, you'll see he's got some little nubs of horns there. Mm -hmm. Those horns aren't even attached. Right. Okay, you can actually take your thumb and, and I'll show you this whenever we get him caught there. 
they you can wiggle them around. Gotcha. So uh, we're just going to take a pair of it's like a big pair of fingernail clippers. He's going to get his fingernails clipped. He's going to get his fingernails clipped. Okay. And um, so we're going to do that to him, and then do the castration on him. And then I'm also while we're here, we're going to go ahead and give him a um, pour on dewormer. Right. Because you don't you don't want to be buying feed, and I saw the hay up here next to the road where you were feeding them. You don't want to be putting that feed in there, and then those parasites, roundworms and stomach worms, those type things, be taking their potential of converting every ounce of feed that they eat to a pound of meat. Oh wow! So that's what that's what you're that's what you're doing when you deworm them. You're basically taking those parasites, getting them out of their system, so that you get a better uh, conversion on the feed side of things. I really, when you think about these sort of things, I really thought this was going to be a lot uh, more bawling, hollering, squalling. Mm -hmm. This was not a terribly tough process. Of course, you've done this a gazillion times. Right. So I, I guess my expectations weren't, it wasn't exactly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Sure. We restrained the animals so they couldn't get hurt and kept us protected as well. It goes pretty goes pretty slick most of the time. Of course, it wasn't me that was behind the fence, yeah. so I guess that's pretty easy for me yeah, to say. You, you helped. You helped hold, <laughs> hold, uh, hold things no, under I mean, control I'm, there. I'm putting in comparison what happened to them. Oh, didn't, that's didn't true. happen to me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> man, you are the man. Uh, You're the cow dude. No, <laughs> just a farmer. So, well, thank you fun. so much, and thanks for sharing with our viewers what's, what goes on in, in the cattle world. Yep. Thank you. You're man. welcome.